Hello and welcome to today's live session. I'm Amanda Sutherland, your content navigator. As I am still not well, my AI avatar will be doing my presentation for me again today. Thank you for joining me as we explore some valuable tips for going live on social media. In this session, I'll be sharing practical advice to help you set up and deliver engaging live broadcasts. Whether you're a solopreneur looking to connect more effectively with your audience or a business owner wanting to boost online engagement, this workshop is tailored just for you. Get ready to enhance your live broadcasting skills, feel more confident on camera, and keep your viewers engaged from start to finish. Let's make your next live session a success. First off, let's talk about why going live is so beneficial. Live streaming offers a unique way to connect with your audience in real time, creating a sense of immediacy and authenticity that pre-recorded content can't match. It allows you to engage directly with viewers, answer their questions on the spot, and build a stronger, more personal relationship with your audience. During this session, I'll be sharing practical tips on how to prepare for a live broadcast, manage interactions effectively, and keep your viewers engaged. Whether you're new to live streaming or looking to refine your skills, this workshop is designed to help you make the most of this dynamic platform. I encourage you to interact throughout the session. Feel free to drop your questions and comments in the chat, and I'll address them as we go along. Your participation makes these sessions more interactive and valuable for everyone. Let's enhance your live broadcasts to be more engaging, confident, and professional. Stay tuned as we start with our first section, preparing for your live broadcast. Now that we've set the stage for why live streaming is so beneficial, let's move on to our first crucial step. Preparation. Proper preparation can make all the difference in ensuring your live broadcast runs smoothly and engages your audience effectively. Start by planning your content, outline your main points and create a loose script to keep you on track. This will help you stay focused and ensure you cover all essential topics. Next, think about your environment. Choose a quiet, well-lit space where you won't be interrupted. Position your camera at eye level for a more natural look and ensure your internet connection is stable. By taking these simple steps to prepare, you'll set yourself up for a successful live broadcast that captures and retains your audience's attention. Let's move into the specifics of setting up your environment in the next section. Now, let's focus on setting up your environment for a successful live broadcast. The right environment can significantly enhance the quality of your live stream and keep your audience engaged. First, choose a quiet, well-lit space. This will minimize distractions and ensure that your viewers can see and hear you clearly. Natural light is best, but if that's not available, use a ring light or other soft lighting to illuminate your face evenly. Next, position your camera at eye level. This creates a more natural and engaging viewing experience for your audience. Avoid low or high angles as these can be unflattering and make it harder for viewers to connect with you. Finally, ensure your internet connection is stable. A wired connection is ideal, but if you're using Wi-Fi, make sure you're close to the router and that no other devices are using significant bandwidth. By carefully setting up your environment, you'll create a professional and engaging live stream that captures your audience's attention from start to finish. Let's move on to the next step, technical preparation. Now that your environment is set up, it's time to focus on the technical preparation to ensure your live broadcast goes off without a hitch. First, test your equipment. Make sure your camera is working correctly and positioned at eye level. Check your microphone to ensure it's capturing clear audio without any distortion or background noise. If possible, use an external microphone for better sound quality. Next, verify your internet connection. A stable and fast connection is crucial for a smooth live stream. If you can, use a wired connection to avoid potential Wi-Fi issues. If you must use Wi-Fi, position yourself close to the router and minimize the use of other devices that might consume bandwidth. It's also a good idea to perform a test run before going live. 
This allows you to check all your settings and make any necessary adjustments. Invite a friend or colleague to join a private test stream to give you feedback on the audio and video quality. Finally, have a backup plan. Technical issues can happen, so it's important to be prepared. Keep an extra set of batteries or a backup power source for your equipment. Have a secondary device, like a smartphone or tablet, ready to use in case your primary device fails. By thoroughly testing your equipment and having a backup plan, you'll be able to handle any technical challenges that come your way, ensuring a smooth and professional live broadcast. Let's move on to planning your content in the next section. With your environment and technical setup ready, the next crucial step is planning your content. This ensures that your live broadcast is structured, engaging, and delivers value to your audience. Start by outlining your key points. Identify the main topics you wanna to cover during your live session. This will help you stay focused and ensure you cover all the essential information. Think about the flow of your broadcast. A, how you'll start, the main points you'll discuss, and how you'll conclude. Create a loose script to guide you through the broadcast. This doesn't have to be a word for word script, but having a general idea of what you want to say at each point can help you stay on track. Note down key phrases or bullet points that will prompt you during the live session. Planning for interaction is also vital. Decide when you'll invite questions or comments from your viewers. This can be at specific points during the broadcast or at the end in a dedicated Q&A segment. Encourage your audience to engage by asking questions and responding to their comments in real time. Consider using visuals or props to enhance your content. This could be anything from slides, images, or physical objects that help illustrate your points. Visual aids can make your broadcast more engaging and help viewers better understand your message. By carefully planning your content, you'll create a more cohesive, an engaging live broadcast that resonates with your audience. Now let's move on to managing interactions during your live session. Managing interactions during your live broadcast is crucial for maintaining viewer engagement and creating a dynamic experience. Let's discuss some key strategies to effectively manage interactions. First, greet your viewers as they join the broadcast. Acknowledge them by name and make them feel welcome. This personal touch can help build a stronger connection with your audience. Encourage comments and questions throughout the broadcast. Ask open-ended questions to prompt discussion and invite viewers to share their thoughts and experiences. Be attentive to the chat and respond to comments in real time, showing that you value their input. Allocate specific times for Q&A sessions. This could be at the end of each segment or at the conclusion of your broadcast. Let your audience know when they can expect to have their questions answered, which helps manage their expectations and keeps the interaction organized. By actively managing interactions, you'll create a more engaging and interactive live broadcast that resonates with your audience. Now, let's move on to discussing how to engage with your audience effectively. Engaging with your audience is key to creating a successful live broadcast. Here are some effective strategies to keep your viewers involved and invested in your content. First, greet your viewers as they join the broadcast. Mention their names and make them feel welcome. This personal touch helps build a stronger connection and shows that you value their presence. Encourage your audience to comment and ask questions throughout the broadcast. Pose open-ended questions related to your topic to prompt discussion, for example, what are your experiences with live streaming? Or how do you prepare for your live sessions? Be attentive to the chat and respond to comments in real time. Acknowledge viewers' input and answer their questions as they come up. This interaction not only keeps your audience engaged, but also makes them feel heard and appreciated. Use engagement features like polls, Q&A stickers, and shout outs to make your broadcast more interactive. These tools can help you gather feedback understand your audience better and keep the energy high. Remember, the goal is to create a two-way conversation rather than a one-sided presentation. By actively engaging with your audience, you'll make your live broadcasts more dynamic, enjoyable and memorable.
Now let's move on to handling questions and feedback effectively. Handling questions and feedback effectively is crucial to maintaining a smooth and engaging live broadcast. Here are some strategies to help you manage this aspect confidently. First, allocate specific times for Q&A sessions. Let your audience know when they can expect to have their questions answered. This can be at the end of each segment or during a dedicated Q&A portion at the end of your broadcast. Setting clear expectations helps keep the broadcast organized and allows viewers to prepare their questions. Prepare responses for common questions in advance. Think about the most likely questions your audience might ask related to your topic. Having prepared answers will help you respond more confidently and keep the broadcast flowing smoothly. When answering questions, always stay calm and composed, even if faced with unexpected or challenging questions. Take a moment to think before you respond. If you don't know the answer, it's okay to admit it and offer to follow up after the broadcast. Acknowledge each question by repeating it aloud before answering. This ensures that all viewers are aware of the question being addressed, especially if they joined late or missed the initial comment. Encourage constructive feedback from your audience. Ask them what they found helpful and what could be improved for future broadcasts. This not only shows that you value their input, but also provides you with valuable insights to enhance your future live sessions. By handling questions and feedback effectively, you'll create a more interactive and engaging experience for your viewers. Now let's move on to maintaining viewer engagement throughout your broadcast. Maintaining viewer engagement throughout your live broadcast is essential for keeping your audience interested and invested in your content. Here are some tips to help you achieve that. First, vary your content delivery. Mix up your presentation style by using different formats like talking directly to the camera, sharing your screen, or showing visuals and props. This variety keeps the broadcast dynamic and visually interesting. Second, use engagement features regularly. Incorporate polls, Q&A sessions, and shout outs to keep the interaction lively. Ask your audience to participate actively by commenting or reacting to your prompts. Third, keep the energy high. Use a lively tone and expressive body language to convey enthusiasm and keep your audience's attention. Your energy can be contagious and help keep viewers engaged. Lastly, keep an eye on the chat. Respond to comments and questions promptly, acknowledging viewers by name. This not only keeps the interaction going, but also makes your audience feel valued and involved. By consistently engaging with your viewers and varying your content delivery, you'll create a more captivating and enjoyable live broadcast. Now let's discuss how to use live features effectively. Live features effectively can significantly enhance the interactivity and engagement of your broadcast. Let's explore some key features and how to make the most of them. First, utilize polls. Polls are a great way to engage your audience and gather instant feedback. You can use them to ask viewers opinions on relevant topics, gauge their interest in different subjects, or simply to make the session more interactive. Announce the poll results during the broadcast to keep the viewers involved and excited. Next, take advantage of Q&A stickers. These allow viewers to submit questions throughout the broadcast. Schedule specific times during your live session to address these questions. This not only provides structure to your broadcast, but also ensures that viewer queries are answered promptly. Shoutouts are another effective feature. Acknowledge your viewers by name and thank them for their participation. This personal touch can make your audience feel valued and more connected to you. Encourage viewers to share the broadcast. Remind them to hit the share button to spread the word to their network. You can also create a sense of urgency or exclusivity by mentioning any limited time offers or special content that will be available during the live session. Lastly, use reactions and comments to keep the energy high. Encourage viewers to use reaction buttons like love, etc. and leave comments. Respond to these in real time to create a dynamic and engaging atmosphere. 
By effectively using these live features, you can create a more interactive and engaging broadcast that keeps your audience coming back for more. Now let's move on to creating a dynamic presentation. Creating a dynamic presentation is key to keeping your audience engaged throughout your live broadcast. Here are some strategies to help you achieve this. First, use visuals and props. Incorporate slides, images, videos, or physical objects that can help illustrate your points. Visual aids make your presentation more engaging and help viewers better understand your message. For example, if you're discussing a product, show it on camera or use close-up shots to highlight its features. Next, vary your tone and pace. Speak with enthusiasm and energy to keep the broadcast lively. Avoid a monotone delivery by changing your tone to emphasize key points and using pauses to create impact. Adjust your speaking pace to match the content. A, slower for complex information and faster for lighter, more exciting parts. Incorporate movement and gestures. Use hand movements and body language to convey enthusiasm and keep the viewers a wall attention. Standing or moving around can also add a dynamic element to your presentation. Engage your audience with interactive elements. Ask questions, encourage comments, and respond to viewers in real time. This interaction keeps the broadcast lively and makes viewers feel more involved. Finally, keep your content organized and transitions smooth. Use clear headings and cues to guide your audience through the presentation. Summarize key points at the end of each section to reinforce the information and provide a clear structure. By creating a dynamic presentation, you'll make your live broadcasts more engaging and enjoyable for your audience. Now let's move on to building confidence on camera. Building confidence on camera is essential for delivering an engaging and professional live broadcast. Here are some tips to help you feel more comfortable and confident. First, practice beforehand. The more you practice, the more confident you'll feel. Do a few dry runs of your presentation to get familiar with the content and flow. Record yourself and watch the playback to identify areas for improvement. Focus on your message rather than the medium. Remember, your primary goal is to share valuable information with your audience. Concentrating on delivering your message can help reduce nervousness and keep you centered. Be authentic. Audiences appreciate genuine and relatable presenters. Don't be afraid to show your personality and let your true self shine through. Authenticity helps build trust and connection with your viewers. Prepare for potential mistakes. Understand that not everything will go perfectly, and that's okay. If you make a mistake, stay calm and continue with your presentation. Your audience will likely appreciate your composure and ability to handle unexpected situations. Use positive self-talk to boost your confidence. Remind yourself of your strengths and past successes. Visualize a successful broadcast and how great it will feel to connect with your audience. Finally, engage with your viewers. Interacting with your audience can help shift the focus from your nerves to the conversation. Respond to comments, ask questions, and acknowledge viewers by name to create a more interactive and enjoyable experience. By practicing, staying focused on your message and being authentic, you'll build the confidence needed to deliver a compelling live broadcast. Now let's move on to the conclusion and Q&A session. Thank you so much for joining today's session on tips for going live on social media. I hope you found the information valuable and feel more confident about your next live broadcast. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We discussed the importance of preparation, setting up your environment, technical checks, planning your content, managing interactions, engaging your audience, using live features effectively, creating dynamic presentations, and building confidence on camera. Now, it's time for our Q&A session. If you have any questions about what we've covered or anything else related to live streaming, please drop them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer as many as I can. While we're waiting for your questions to come in, I want to remind you to join our Facebook group, Your Innovative Business Life with Fantastic Creativity. It's a supportive community where we share tips, insights, 
and inspiration to help you grow your business. Let's get started with the questions. Before we wrap up, let's quickly recap the key points we've covered today to ensure you have all the essential tips for going live on social media. First, we discussed the importance of preparation, setting up your environment, conducting technical checks and planning your content are crucial steps to ensure a smooth broadcast. Next, we covered managing interactions and engaging with your audience, greeting viewers, encouraging comments and questions, and using live features effectively are all vital to keeping your broadcast lively and interactive. We also talked about creating dynamic presentations and building confidence on camera. Using visuals and varying your tone and pace can make your broadcast more engaging, while practicing and focusing on your message helps boost your confidence. By implementing these tips, you'll be well prepared to deliver engaging and professional live broadcasts. Remember, practice makes perfect. So don't be afraid to go live and connect with your audience. Thank you for joining today's session. Thank you all for being here today. I hope you found the session helpful and are excited to implement these tips in your live broadcasts. If you want to dive deeper and get personalized guidance, I invite you to book a one-on-one -on -one Go Live on Socials call with me for $97. In this session, we'll work together to tailor your live streaming strategy, tackle any challenges you're facing, and ensure you're confident and ready to engage your audience effectively. You can book your session through the link provided in the description or the chat. Additionally, don't forget to join our Facebook group, Your Innovative Business Life with Fantastic Creativity, where you can connect with like-minded individuals, share your experiences, and gain more insights to grow your business. Thank you again for joining today's session. Now, let's move on to our final Q&A. Now it's time for our final Q&A session. If you have any remaining questions about going live on social media or any other related topics, please type them into the comments. I'll do my best to address as many as possible. As we wait for your questions to come in, I want to remind you about the importance of staying connected and continuing to learn. Joining our Facebook group, Your Innovative Business Life with Fantastic Creativity is a great way to stay engaged, get your questions answered, and receive ongoing support and inspiration from a community of like-minded individuals. Additionally, if you're looking for more personalized guidance, don't forget to book a one-on-one -on -one Go Live on Socials call with me for $97. This session will provide tailored advice and strategies to help you overcome any challenges and ensure your live broadcasts are successful and engaging. Let's see what questions have come in. Pause to review and respond to questions. Thank you all for your fantastic questions and for being such an engaged audience today. It's been a pleasure sharing these tips with you and I look forward to seeing you in our Facebook group and during our one-on-one -on -one sessions. If there are no more questions, I'll wrap up today's session. Thank you again for joining and I wish you all the best in your live streaming journey. Have a great day.